It's Madden NFL 22, and today's clash of conferences is just moments away. It's the football team and the Texans, and it comes your way next. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Straight ahead, we got a good one on tap here between the Washington football team and the Houston Texans. And we are underway from NRG Stadium in Houston. This taken in at the goal line. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. So out comes the Washington offense onto the field. And leading them, Charles, their quarterback, their field general. And what's a quarterback's best friend? Balance? I think you're right. <laughs> I agree with you. You know, a lot of guys would say great receiver, right? A terrific offensive line. But I agree with you, balance, because if you can run the ball effectively, that just opens things up for guys who want to throw it and gives you easier passing lanes and easier coverages to read. And they said balance will be a focus in this one. Yeah, they don't want it all just heaped on his shoulders, I don't believe. I think they want to make sure they take some of the pressure off. Dances by at the 20. And not the start he was hoping for there as he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Call it no gain on the game's first play, and it's second down now. Defensively, though, they had a chance there to hit him for a loss. Couldn't get it done. Looked like someone was able to knife into the backfield, but he wasn't able to get him down. But his compatriots, they were able to grab him at the line of scrimmage and not let him get any further downfield. And this one also slow and developing as he's maybe getting back here to the line of scrimmage, but not much more than that. No gain that time, and it leaves him with third and 11 coming up. Little trouble thus far on their opening drive as they come up on a third and 11. He'll look to throw. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And that is caught one-handed. Oh, my, he pulled it in. And he makes it all the way down to the 31. A huge play there for Washington. Well, things are looking pretty darn good on this first drive, aren't they? Came right out, set the tone this time with a big pass play. And if the peek behind the curtain that they gave us or their game plan today, I don't think that's going to be the last one we see. I think you're exactly right about that. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. They'll look to throw here. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. Look at a check mark in the box where the defense coordinator was saying, how well can we stay with these receivers if we're in man coverage? Because he just did it on that one, forced the incompletion. That allowed him to get bolder with his pass rush, won't it? Absolutely. Freeze up your guys elsewhere. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Looking to throw. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know. They want to get this man involved as well, and that's what they just did on that play. Now a first and 10 at the 11. They'll try the left side. Riggins. He showed some tough running, but they'll drop him at the five-yard line. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. All right, Brad, I know where they're early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Now a first carry for their fullback. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Washington. A five-yard touchdown run. And Washington takes the ball down the field and scores on their opening drive. 
That's just a solid, methodical drive to start this game. And how about how it culminated? Doing exactly what they wanted to do, getting the ball downfield, and then running it into the end zone. I'm just telling you, partner, when you run it in rather than throw it in, that hurts the defense psychologically a heck of a lot more. Now they'll line up to kick the extra point. It's good, and Washington will take a 7-0 lead. So that drives seven plays in length, and it's finished off with a five-yard touchdown run. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. From a yard or two deep. And all deep in his own territory, he coughs up the football. And it's Washington that scoops it up. And he gets it back into the end zone. It's a fumble recovery leading to a Washington touchdown. And that's got to be so disappointing for a defense. You, know, you force the fumble think you got a chance at a turnover and instead not only do you give up the football you also give up a touchdown as well yeah you just think to yourself you've done all the hard work right you forced the fumble but when they didn't come up with it I think they relaxed a little bit or maybe lost their focus as well and end up turning out to be a touchdown against them A try here for the extra point. And it's good, and they have jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. The scoop and score, always an exciting play in football, and we witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. So here's the kickoff now as they'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. Taken at the goal line. And he will be brought out here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. The Texans offense going to go to work, and it is Deshaun Watson at quarterback. And he's exactly the man you want in control of your offense. Excellent arm, good zip on the ball, not afraid to use his legs when he needs to. And what he's excelled at doing is making plays when the first read isn't available or when the pressure's about to get to him. Watson will bring up the Texans here first and 10 at their own 17-yard line. Throwing to start the drive. Watson. And a catch made by Hopkins. And they're able to get this one across the 35. On, let's go. Let's go. You can almost hear the sigh of relief coming from their sideline and from their point on the field because this has been a tough start for them thus far. A much needed first down there. They needed something good to happen. Plays like that will continue to help them dig out of this hole. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now Watson. And he gets this out to Foster on the right side. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And that'll make this a second down. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal game. On 
second down now. It's Foster. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Let's go! I have to admit, I'm excited by that play call and the end result because this is a team that's down big early in the first quarter. And a lot of teams will just panic, abandon the playbook, and just start firing the ball all over the place. It's way too early for that. Stick to what works for you. Down double digits, and we talked about their game plan being both running and passing there. You're right. They're sticking to the game plan. Get the ground game going. A lot of football left to be played. In Washington territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. This is Foster, and this time the yards won't come so easy as they'll in fact tackle him behind the line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package, and that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. A give. This is Foster. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Maybe a gain of a yard that time. But half on the spot, actually, no gain. So third and long. An extra man here in the secondary for Washington on third down. Watson, off play action. Here's Johnson with a reception. And he'll take this one in for a Texans touchdown. Yeah, boy, CD, it's one thing to watch a great run, but when it's a great run with broken contact, it's like a cherry on top. That was a nice play. Yeah, and this is one of the best runs you'll see. A lot of times on these long touchdowns, you'll see he gets into the end zone untouched, but not here. He fought his way through contact, and it barely even registered, and he just continued down the field all the way to the end zone. Extra point by Fairbairn, off and good. And that cut the lead down to a touchdown. That time, a six-play drive. And it results in the Texans finding the end zone. Touchdown, here's Fairbairn now to kick it away. Green to bring it back. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline, because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you score points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. The Washington with a football here to begin quarter number two. As they're looking at a second down and nine to go. Set up a throw. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and get the football right back because your friend, Old Momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trip to the opposite side. And all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. He's going to float this one deep right side. 
And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. I like the fact that he took the shot deep downfield. Even if you don't get the catch, maybe you get a defensive penalty and pick up the yardage that way. So on fourth down, Washington going to call on Tress Way to punt it away. Back deep for the Texans, Will Fuller. yards on the punt, two on the return, and the Texans will take over with a first and ten. So now we get set to see Houston for their second drive of the ball game. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that, they had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would, because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went, no adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield incomplete. There is something to a game plan with trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try to throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they run successful. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Here's Watson. Open man. Here's Foster. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Throwing on third down, Watson. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with the referee. Well, instead of fourth down after the incompletion, it'll be first down roughing the passer. Coaches love their defenses to be aggressive, but they want them to be smart as well. Have to leave the quarterback alone at a certain point. A bad time for a roughing penalty, and they get the gift of a first and ten. They'll try the right side with Foster. And he is across midfield from 149 to the other 49, a gain of just two. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defense in front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Now, that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy's nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. An extra man in the secondary for Washington on third down. Here's Watson. He wants it all for the end zone. And this one dropped in the end zone. Uh, looked like a touchdown, but not to be. And now it's fourth down. From a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football. There was pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him, and they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. Now on fourth down, Otis, the punt team sending this one away. And now where will the side judge stop his walk? That's the question. He says it crossed out of bounds at about the 17-yard line. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. They'll try and start this drive in the air. He's going to float this one deep right side. 
And it'll be incomplete. Good job staying with him defensively. And it'll bring up second down. Well, so much for getting separation. No chance there. Locked down tight, forcing the incompletion on that attempt. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. From the gun, he'll hand this off. Limited running room as he'll get about three to the 21. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. Force the incompletion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And that is incomplete. So many times we talk about coverage, we're just talking about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. Here's Tressway now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. So a change of possession here on the punt. And possession will switch hands first and 10. The Texans offense now, they get set to head back on the field here. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trade expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. On first down, Watson. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Johnson. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Let's go, D. Right there. A shotgun snap for Watson. That's caught by his tight end, Jordan Akins. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. And Brandon, as you know, sometimes it's a lot tougher to run with these tight ends nowadays in the NFL, but just bigger wide receivers. He lined up on the left side of the formation, ran a drag route across the field, and tried to work his way open. He was able to make the catch, but the defenders were there. Couldn't do a whole lot with it afterwards. To throw again on second down, Watson. And that's incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. The Texans on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This will be third and five. Again, it's Watson. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Daniels. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. We'll check on his status when we get back. Now the offense is not leaving the field. They're going to stay out and go for it on fourth and three. They will indeed snap it to Watson. And a dangerous throw there as that's knocked down and incomplete. Second three. quarter action Let's with 159 play. remaining. Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. 
After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. They'll set up to throw. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And this is caught inside the five. And oh, so close as he takes it all the way to the two-yard line. A huge play there for Washington. Sometimes you just got to marvel at how these guys can throw the football. He gave that everything he had, and it was right on the money. And we often talk about hang time for punts, but in this case, we should probably calculate the hang time on that throw because that one hung up there for a long time and managed to keep going and going until it found its target. They'll try and run for it here with Portis. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Washington. Taking it in from two yards out. And Washington going to add on to their lead. So it takes them just three plays here to find the end zone. And you remember, of course, this was all set up by their defense. Yeah, they got the stop on fourth down. So I imagine the offense said to their defense, thank you very much for this great starting field position. And like you said, three plays later, they're in the end zone. Extra point attempt here still to come. It's good, and it is now 21-7. The drive there only spanning three plays. And it's culminated by a two-yard touchdown run. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there. Caught it to 26. Deshaun Watson and the Texans offense trot back out there. And how does he rally the troops, so to speak? He, he's played well, but they're down big on the scoreboard. How does he get his guys going? To make sure they understand it's not a me game, it's a team game. Everyone has to come together. Everyone has to up the level of play a little bit, including himself, and find a way to make some plays in order to give them a little bit of a spark and rally the team. We'll see if they can indeed rally down big on the scoreboard right now. On first down, it's Watson. And this is going to be incomplete. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all. And I understand why they look lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Come on, come on, out. Come on, come on, come on, Throwing again is Watson. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. And let's pin the mirrors back and go full strength. Out of the gun, they hand to Foster. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. Now a timeout called for by the defense as he'll stop it with exactly a minute to go before halftime. Here's Cameron Johnston now as he'll kick it away for the second time. Now a hit and a loose football. And that's what friends are for. Right. <laughs> As the returner, you know who you're buying dinner for later. Oh, without a doubt, because he just took care of you and your team in a big way. You know, you turned it over there. That's a big momentum changer and put your defense in a bad spot. Washington going to go on offense now late in this first half. 
And with a two-score lead already, they may just look to get this thing to the locker room. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And his throw is going to be incomplete. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball. But surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Now back to throw. And he's got his man in stride, complete. Now Washington gonna use the second of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. And I see an extra defensive back on the field. Little surprise here on third and one. They'll drop the throw. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Now Washington going to go ahead and use their final timeout as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. They'll look to throw again. Throwing the out route and complete. That's Clark. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Give him nine there on the first down completion. So now on comes the field goal unit. And wow, this is no ordinary try here. This will be from 56 yards out. And that is no good. And this score will stay right where it is. And this is one of the risks you run when you attempt a long field goal. If you miss, the defense takes over the spot of the placement. So now they've got a chance to get one more drive in before halftime. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. And with great starting field position up near the 50, they might be one completion away from stealing a late field goal here. On first and 10, Watson. And that's complete. It's the tight end, Daniels. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. 64 was Matt Prater's record. This would top that by a yard. And this is off target to the left. Didn't get there anyway. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. The long distance shot before break comes up empty. But now Charles flipped the script. Time for likely one more play as field position becomes an issue. Yeah, when you talk about field position, remember, if this kick is missed, the ball comes back to where? The spot that they snapped it from. So field position becomes a factor. I think at this spot, you might also want to think about throwing the Hail Mary. You know, put the ball up in the air. Maybe you can get six out of it instead of three. Yeah, see what happens. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. This will approach NFL record territory. It's a 62-yard attempt. And oh, off the crossbar, no good. A sensational effort from that distance, but rejected by the bar. 
So that would have been something from that distance, but to no avail. Comes up empty as we have reached the intermission. As we send you on over to Orlando, for we now proceed to the start of the second half. Texans down on the scoreboard, but they do get the first crack here as we are back underway in the second half. Fielded just outside the goal line. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. And the Texans getting ready to go here to begin the third quarter. And right out of the gate, they face what you think could be a pretty important drive. I would say so. You know, they're down two scores. That's not the end of the world. It wasn't the strongest of first halves, but for them to start clawing back, they've got to start putting a little pressure on that defense, start cutting into this deficit. You can't have three and outs and expect to get that done. Watson will bring up the Texans here, first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. Off the play fake, Watson. He finds Hopkins complete. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. And another thing that makes a comeback back really effective is that oftentimes after you've made the initial move, receivers breaking away from the defensive back, and that makes it a really tough play to defend. A nice chunk of yardage picked up there. From up near the 40 now after the big play to start. Here's another first and 10. So that'll back him up five. Let's go, baby. Let's go. So a little bit of a stiffer challenge now. First and 15 following the delay of game. Now Foster running left, and he'll get this only up to about the 35. They get one you yard back there to make it second and 14. Now sometimes it's hard to take your eyes off this guy at the linebacker position. He can really cover some ground, and he did there to make that play. Yeah, this defense as a whole has really been flying to the football all game long. They have not allowed too much of anything. And here's another example. A great play there to get in and disrupt it before it could get going. And if you're wondering how fast he was going, Next Gen Stats clocked him at close to 21 miles an hour. Second and 14. To throw is Watson. That's complete to the tight end, Akins. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. The reception good for seven. It's third down. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Watson. Completing it to the right side, Johnson. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. But the kind of game he's had so far, you had to know that on third down, that they would be looking his way, and they did for big yardage and a first down. I think the defense fell asleep at the switch on that one. I would have doubled him, tripled him, anything to keep the ball out of his hands. In Washington territory now. Here's first and 10, down at the 31. From the pistol, it's Foster. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. 
sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. They keep it in the hands of Foster, and they're going to get him behind the line yet again as his nightmare afternoon continues. A yard in the wrong direction makes third down tougher, third down and nine. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. A third down now. Those last two plays indicative of how things have gone for them. Just nowhere to go on the ground and struggling to put up points. And he's going to have the connection to Foster. And he is going to have a Texans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. First down carry for Foster. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. I see a shake of the head as he gets up, and you've got to imagine he's thinking, guys, you got to help me out. He's hoping his team can read his thoughts because he definitely needs some assistance. You call Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. Now it's Watson. That is caught. Hopkins for the Texans touchdown. A great play there. There to make the grab. And the Texans draw a bit closer. That's a score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there's an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. Fairbairn good with the extra point. And that'll cut the lead down to a touchdown. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And the result, a Houston touchdown. It's a touchback. First possession of the second half now for Washington. And maybe some renewed pressure on this unit following the touchdown a moment ago. It's back to a one-score game. And because of that pressure, because it's now a one-score game, they know this is where you need to slow the momentum change because otherwise that could overrun your team. You've got to be careful right here. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Flush to his right. And he will avoid the contact as he slides to a stop. With Charles in the past, a lot of people called this offense one-dimensional. I think you did. Well, I think it was you. I'll be honest, I did. <laughs> I think the fan base is hoping with this young rookie that they can put some wrinkles in this offense like we just saw. I think you're exactly right because we did have that discussion that what we've seen in the past from them, they needed to broaden, and they have done it here. Look at what he's bringing to their offense, and now as a defensive coordinator, 
you've got some extra work to do to prepare for him and their offense. Now a throw for the left sideline, and he's got it. And he'll go out of bounds, it looks like, right at the 40. They'll contain him to just four, second down. If you're running out route, it's likely you end up near the sideline. And what did we just see there? The toe tap. You got it. The benefits of practice. Toe tapping, foot dragging, picking it up, and making sure it was a catch. Second and six. And he's going to hook up with his big tight end. Complete. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 43. Nice idea, nice concept there. Line him up on the left side of the formation, let him sneak his way across, coming back underneath, put it in his hands, let him get a few more yards after the catch, too. Great way to utilize a tight end on the drag route. So a first and 10 now in Houston territory at the 43. They'll look to throw. He's got the first down here inside the 30. And finally taken down at the 20-yard line. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now in Houston. It's Washington with the football and the lead as we start the fourth. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. And he's got his man in stride. Complete. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. Stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he is into the end zone for a Washington touchdown. A six-yard touchdown run. And Washington is able to stretch their lead. Well, that's certainly going to bump up the old win probability index because now it's a two-score game here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, you're taking me into that deep water now. Win probability index. This game's definitely not over. We're not looking at a half percent or something. It's just two scores. But the way that this team has played, to me, what I've seen, they absolutely deserve to win this game. They've been the better team by far throughout. Point after, right down the middle. And the lead now up to 14. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And not willing to risk another fumble, he'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. The Texans back out there and ready to go. Good drive last time. Really effective passing the football. Do you maybe mix it up, now go to the ground game and surprise the defense a little bit? I would anticipate the defense making some changes but I wouldn't necessarily just absolutely go in the opposite direction. They're doing so well throwing the ball. Yeah, well, I'm I wouldn't change it up until they showed me a reason to do so. Watson will bring up the Texans here first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Throwing to start the drive. Watson. And the catch made by Johnson. 
And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. At this stage, this drive's got to be touched down or bust because you need two of them. And if I'm the offensive play caller, I'm not just looking at my dagger plays downfield. I'm looking at some of my specials, something that can fool them and give you a big play now. With a sense of urgency. No doubt. So quickly, all the way up at the 40-yard line. I'm going back to you. I'm going back to you. From the gun, here's Watson. Again, it's Johnson. And he's brought down. You cannot write these guys off just yet. Yeah, having a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. Back to back good plays have him on the move on first down. Here's Watson. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Daniels. Oh, now he's stripped. He lost the football. And it's Washington that scoops it up. Always costly to cough up that football. These defenders, they become so adept, though, at jarring it free. Yeah, it's amazing that there aren't more fumbles caused because now, if you're an offensive player, you go through ball security drills every single day. It's really not out of line to think you should take the ball to bed with you and just hold on to it. <laughs> but the bottom line is, no matter how much you try to protect it, these guys are pretty good at finding ways to knock it out. A good starting spot for Washington as they come up first and 10 at the 40. Hands it off out of the gun, and he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. Here's second and eight. Drops this one off to Portis. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. That's a gain of four as we slip inside of four minutes left in regulation. Washington on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and four. They'll set up a throw. He's going to air one out. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Finally, a good play there defensively on the deep ball. The secondary has had its struggles this entire game. Offensively, they've had their way with them. Here's Tressway now as he's on to punt for Washington. Uh, did they keep it in? They did. They kept it in. It's Let's down go. and close to the goal line at the one-yard line. Amazing. Perfectly placed. If that ball goes one extra yard, maybe not even an extra yard, the starting point is the 20. So there is a reason that a lot of punters are also excellent golfers. They know distance control. You know what else they have? Same groove motion over and over. Once they have that down, it repeats under pressure. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news, but this is still a two-score game, and they need points on this drive and in a relatively quick manner. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. There's no question that coming into this game, this defense is pretty vocal about his desire to take this running back out of his game, and all that pregame wolfing has turned into results. Oh, no. 
A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Here's Watson. And a catch made by Hopkins. And a good stiff arm there before he's brought down. down on a nice little game. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helps to have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. The Texans on third down. They've hit four of seven. This time it's third and three. Back to throw, Watson. He sets to fire deep. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on, a big call coming on third down. This home crowd, they're happy with that call. <laughs> I like the way you said happy there, right? The so-called good guys didn't get a call. They feel like it's been that way all afternoon. You feeling their pain? They finally got one. Yes, they did. So how about this for a change in field position? From inside the 10, here's first down on the other side of the field. A shotgun snap for Watson. That's complete once again to Hopkins. Seven yards to pick up there. You got the big lead defensively. Willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Texans football as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. He finds his man complete. It's Daniels. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. That's a nice catch there. Remember, he had the fumble earlier. No way he was giving up the ball in that situation. Secured it tight to his body and picks up the first down. First down now, but that clock rolling. Watson. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll slide to a halt here. Still a little shy of the first down marker. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. Now how about that play? He took a possible negative and turned it into positive yardage and slid down to avoid taking a big shot. Excellent job getting down and avoiding the big hit. Watson to throw. And this is caught now for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. You got a one-score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side, get that high hop, and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, get that hands team ready. No doubt about it. On for the PAT, Kaimi Fairbear. He's got it, and they're back within a touchdown at 28-21. A drive that time of six plays, and it results in the Texans finding the end zone. to go and this is going to be an onside kick and this is going to be covered up by Washington a tough one there they certainly wanted that when they needed it but they didn't absolutely have to get it they still do have three timeouts you're exactly right they had to attempt it but even though they didn't get it as you noted with three timeouts if they can get these stops on defense all hope is not lost and the Washington offense heading out and this game not quite in hand yet. We'll likely see all three timeouts defensively and then reassess where we are. Oh, 
They'll run on first down. Riggins. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts as it comes.